Hi there, you join me on the 0631 Northern service to Hull because today I'm actually taking this trade right to Hull and then at Hull I'll explain more about today's video as we go along because it is half past six in the morning to be honest with you it's really early so anyway, this trade's about to leave let's go over to Hull railway station This is the Northern service to Hull The next stop is Newputsey It's never dull in Hull and honestly the sun has come out today. Now I'm at Hull railway station, I was planning to film here today but I decided against it and it's a good idea because our train actually arrived about 10 minutes late into Hull. Now the four railway stations I have planned today are the following, Haldon, Selby, Brough and Hessel. But I may change Hessel to another station, I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to get some breakfast, then wait for the 0850 Northern service to take me to Halden, which will be the first location. Excuse the traffic behind me because there's a level crossing here at Howden Railway Station and this is the first station visiting out of four stations today. It is northern operated, it does have two platforms but the platforms are staggered between the level crossing. However though, the original station building at Howden still survives because it's grade 2 listed and I think the station building has always been on track level and Howden station has always been a staggered platform. Across the level crossing it used to be a single box which is now disused but it does look very nice indeed and this is my first time being at Howden station and honestly I actually do like it here even though you live here walking to the town of Howden is roughly about a 20 minute walk so we're now going to talk about the history of Howden station this station opened on the 1st of July 1840 by the Hull and Selby Railway. However though, when it was opened, it was named Haldon and Buffwith. If that's the wrong pronunciation, I do apologise. However though, in 1869 it was named Haldon. But it wasn't till 1922 when it got another name change, when it was named North Haldon, because there was a second station in Haldon called South Haldon, and it was closer to the town of Haldon by the Hull and Barnsley Railway, but that station closed in the 1950s. However though, in 1961 it was renamed back to Howden, and the Lell Cross is coming down, so there's another train coming to pass through here. We've got five minutes to go before we leave Howden Station, and you can hear animals next door, I'm next door possibly to a farm. That's how there's nothing here at Howden Station. Apart from farms, animals, that's about it. I love the station building as I mentioned as well. By the way, the reason I'm doing these four railway stations today is because let's talk about some of the services at the other stations like Wrestle, Hessel and so forth. Because some of the stations that I looked at when I planned this have an hourly service, then after that then they have a two hourly service, then after that they have another hourly service. It's a bit of hit and miss at some railway stations. 
However though, Broomfleet Station has a very limited service on this line. Like there's a train in the morning and the next train's not till lunchtime. That's how limited Broomfleet is. But we're now leaving Halden Station on the next train to Selby because we're going to use Selby as a turnaround to get back to Hull. But I will be filming at Selby Station for an hour. So I'm now at the second railway station we're filming trains at today. This is Selby Railway Station and Selby used to be on the East Coast Main Line between London King's Cross and Edinburgh Waverley until they built the Selby Diversion in 1983. After that Selby lost its title being on the East Coast Main Line. But the interesting thing is though it still has trains to London King's Cross. It has the daily LNR service from Hull and it has Hull train services from Hull to London King's Cross as well. But one of the Hull services does start at Beverley and goes to Beverley in the evening as well. Now Selby Railway Station does have three platforms operated by Transpalade Express. However though, one of the platforms is a bay platform, that's platform three, and platforms one and two are through platforms. Now the history of Selby Railway Station will be very brief because there's a lot of history here at Selby Railway Station. Where I'm pointing at right now is the original Selby Railway Station, it's now a network rail depot. That station opened in 1834 by the Leeds and Selby Railway. However though that station closed in 1840 and became a goods depot. The current station I'm standing on right now was opened in 1840 when the line was extended to Hull by the Hull and Selby Railway. So at the east end of Selby Railway Station is a lovely swing bridge just after the station. And you can get some lovely photos of trains coming off that swing bridge entering Selby Railway Station. Unfortunately, we shall be leaving Selby Railway Station on the 1127 Northern service to Brough, which will be the first station I shall visit today. However, though, there is some Transplay Express services that are starting to be cancelled, so we might have less traffic to deal with, but I think there's still fair northern units out that we could film. So this is the first station in my journey we are visiting today. This is Brough Railway Station. And like Selby, everything stops at Brough, apart from the freight trains. However though, Brough Railway Station was opened by the Hull and Selby Railway in 1840.
Also at Brough Railway Station, it used to have four platforms here because Brough Railway Station used to be two island platforms. However though, the tracks were lifted in the 1970s but the platform edge is still visible today so you can see where the old platforms used to be for the outer platforms at Brough Railway Station. So we are waiting for the 1253 Northern service to take us to our fourth and final station, Hessel. Now I was thinking of not doing Hessel station, go to Felby station instead. I did like the look of the layout of that station, but I decided against it and go to Hessel station instead. So our train is arriving now to pick us up and take us to Hessel, our fourth and final station. Do excuse the traffic on the A63, which is right behind me there. It's right next door to this station right here. This is Hessel Railway Station, our fourth and final station of the day. Now, Hessel Station was also opened by the hall at Selby Railway in 1840. Also, another thing at Hessel Station, it's actually the closest station to the north bank of this bridge right here. That is the Humber Bridge, which the A15 crosses over the River Humber. And you might have seen that this morning as you're travelling towards Hall in the video. But yeah, the Humber Bridge can be viewed from Hessel Railway Station. We know we love a good pair of viaducts, but that is more than a viaduct. I just want to make a quick correction. I said Feral B, it's actually Ferry B. Just want to make that correction clear. It's like in the comments yesterday it said Shrewsbury, and it's Shrewsbury, or Shrewsbury, doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going to leave Hessel Station on the 1402 to Hull. Once we get back to Hull Railway Station, I've got a four minute turnaround, so I've got a four minute connection to make to catch the 1415 back to Leeds. So it's going to be a tight connection at Hull. Hopefully we should get it. Our train should be arriving now to take us back to Hull so we can carry on the journey back to Leeds. connection to catch this train but it looks like I had longer now
So I made it to Leeds Railway Station. I go to reflect on today's railway journey. And honestly, I did enjoy it. One of the stations, Halden, was the very first time I went there. I did really enjoy Halden Railway Station. The other three stations though, Selby, Brough and Hessel, I have been there before a few times myself in the past. However though, the only problem of today was there were some trades that were running delayed like 5 to 20 minutes. Like at Brough, we got a whole train going to Hull and that was running about 20 minutes late. But luckily though, that tight connection at Hull as well, we did made. I did see um, Bradley Lantern there, but I didn't have time to say hello. But anyway, it has really been a very good day indeed. I'm going to catch the 1542 to Chester now, which is two coaches. But before I do that, feel free to give this a thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below. I'm ending the video in Leeds, but I'm going back home now. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on the rails for another journey pretty soon. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.